Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader, and I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holly in Market Update for Friday, October the 26th, 2018. Well, since it's the end of the week, we're going to take a look at uh, how we ended the day up and how we ended the week as well. So on the, I, I like to use my Thinkorswim platform to, to review these charts at the end of the week. And on the left side here, we have the daily from Monday through Friday. And on the right side, we have the weekly. So you can see here the volatility with the uh, Dow. And we did end Friday down from yesterday. And obviously with the week, we ended the week uh, down from last week. Uh, we have a bearish engulfing candle set up on the weekly. And uh, you know we've been talking about how the, the weekly was looking intact. Well, we kind of broke that and uh, have not recovered from it. So we are in the territory of uh, we're just going to have to see where things go. But it is not looking uh, real good for the bulls at this point. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens as uh, October finishes out. The IWM here, you can see for the week, uh, the volatility we had, you know, a couple attempts at recovery, doji candle today, but still closed down from yesterday's close. And the weekly on the IWM is looking very, very bearish. The Qs. And you can see here, uh, rough week there. We ended up with a technical green candle today, but it was a gap down. And then uh, it did close up from the gap, but we have a, a long, you know, uh, topping uh, wick here. So, uh, you know, a rough day for the Qs. Uh, on the weekly, you can see here we've had four very rough weeks in a row. We had the bearish engulfing candle up here, and it triggered, kind of signaled we might have a few weeks of trouble. Uh, you can see the volume bar here, lots and lots of volume. You know, so uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can catch a bounce. We did close, uh, you know, down below uh, this uh, significant moving average. So we're below uh, three of them. And uh, if, if I shrink that up, you can see we're still well above the 200. But, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens next week. The spiders, uh, you can see, uh, you know, the pullback here kind of have, uh, you know, the doji candle here. Uh, and uh, down from yesterday, obviously, uh, have a bearish engulfing candle set up on uh, the weekly on high volume. So uh, very, very rough looking charts uh, for the uh, spiders. Uh, we'll go ahead now and take a look at Holly and see how she did uh, <coughs> throughout uh, the day. And, uh, you know, uh, on the Holly Grail, we had zero trades, so there was zeros all across the boards. Holly 2.0 had 11 trades, uh, 56 cents risk off profit, 76 cents risk on profit. We had one trade here, uh, LBRT made 51 cents on the risk on mode. And in the risk off mode, uh, we had a short YRD for 48 cents was, was the best one there. And then Holly Neo, we had uh, nine trades, 91 cent profit, risk off profit, a loss of 229. We'll go ahead and take a look here, see uh, if there was any significant trade on the short trade. VMC, she made 75 cents on it, but then uh, she got out because of a profit save. And you can see it's a pretty good thing she did. If you held it till the end of the day, you would have lost 75 cents. And the best risk off trade was SBH, uh, where there was a 22 cent risk on profit. And that was a short trade. So that is your Holly update. Uh, I want to uh, remind you again, probably the, the most significant thing we have going on is our test drive that uh, is going to start on Monday morning. So you still have throughout the weekend to sign up for that. We give you five full days of uh, trade ideas where you get to, uh, you know, uh, it's for $8.88 and we give you uh, suggested swing exits. We give you real-time data. We give you charting. We give you Holly, which is the artificial intelligence engine. We give you the odds maker, which is the back tester. We give you price alerts. 
We also give you free access to uh, support webinars in our trading room. You just go to this link right here. I'll have it posted in the uh, YouTube video comments and you can click on that and sign up and uh, you know hopefully you'll you know learn how to use our software and it'll help you to be a better trader. So we hope to see you there. Uh, let me go back for one second and review Holly uh, just a little more detail like I like to do. So throughout the week here, Holly had uh, for Holly Grail 38 trades, a dollar 88 profit, lost a dollar 75 on the risk one category. On the 2.0, she had 68 trades. She made a profit of $4.18 and the risk on profit $8.89. So Holly 2.0 was the one to follow this week. And Holly Neo had 73 trades, lost $6.61 uh, on the risk off and lost $6.53 on risk one. And for the week, $1.79 in the total trades, 55 cent loss in the risk off. 61 cents uh, profit on the risk one. So that is the uh, toughest week I can recall ever seeing for Holly. So, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, you know, she'll get her footing again, just as uh, hopefully most of us will as we get into this new uh, market, uh, you know, uh, atmosphere, I guess you could call it, because it's, it's just uh, different than what we've been accustomed to. So, uh, you know, the main thing is, you know, protect your profits, uh, maybe take smaller positions, uh, you know, uh, you know, be a little quicker to take your profits. And, you know, you just, uh, you know, you, you, you've got to watch it out there because it is certainly uh, a very difficult time to be trading. And remember, you can always follow me at my blog at bullseyetrader.com. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter or StockTwits. If you got anything out of this video, we'd sure appreciate a thumbs up you know, maybe drop a comment in, maybe share it with some friends. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing uh, to, to these videos so you never miss one. And hey, want to thank you for watching and God bless.